Hello guys, today I'll be sharing a way for you to learn how to create tree map charts in Google Sheets through our easy and stress-free guide. It often becomes difficult to represent relationship amongst categories when working with lots of data. Tree map charts are often useful in representing parent-child relationships between different data items and are usually used for the classification of data in Google Sheets. Each category of data is represented in the form of rectangles and tree map charts in Google Sheets and each of these rectangles has a specified size and color. This makes the data easier to understand and interpret. Tree maps are considered better than pie charts primarily because the human mind finds it easier to perceive the rectangles present in a tree map chart versus the wedges that are present in a pie chart. Since most reports involve a breakdown view of data, Creating tree map charts in Google Sheets as against pie charts might just be the quick way for you to score some extra brownie points with your manager. Okay, so moving on, in order to create tree map charts in Google Sheets, your data should follow a particular format. For this video, we'll consider an example of sample data for the order distribution of a day by an online shopping app. Now, as you can see that the data shown on the screen consists of three columns in the following format. The first column consists of objects for which the tree map chart is to be created. Objects should follow a hierarchy when the first record is the parent and the succeeding records are the subcategories and their corresponding objects as you can clearly see on our data. The second column specifies the parent for each entity. For instance, the parent for the order tagged as health and care is grocery. The third column consists of numerical values and the total of these numbers are at the top of the column. Make sure to color code your table for ease of understanding and better represent your data. Now that we have prepared our data, let's move on to creating tree map charts in Google Sheets for our sample dataset. So first, you need to select the data and insert a chart. Now, sometimes Google Sheets understands the structure of your data and automatically presents you with a tree map chart. But just in case it doesn't, you can use this drop down menu and scroll until you find the tree map chart and then select it. Additionally, you can also hover over any section to see the number associated with it. If you double click on a specified part of the chart, it will zoom in and show you the stats of that particular part. Isn't that cool? Next, let's see how you can customize your tree map chart to make it more visually appealing and relevant to your needs. So uh, if you click on these three dots and select edit chart, you'll be presented with a bunch of ways you can customize your chart. For example, under chart style, you can change the color for the border and the background of the chart. And the tree map section uh, where you can change the colors of the sections like this. Also, it is always a good practice to add a title to a chart to make sure the context is specified for the stakeholders or your peers who might refer to the data later on. I'll also suggest you to try and familiarize yourself with the tree map chart editor to make it more relevant to you. Congratulations on learning a new skill today. Tune in and subscribe for more useful tips on using Google Sheets to its full potential. Until then, adios amigos.